Node.js currently has two main ways to work in browser. The first, which is the most common way, is what we do at CodeDAM. And there's a newer way which a platform like StackBlitz goes ahead and uses, which is using web containers. So in this video, I want to demonstrate the use of CodeDAM's Playground versus StackBlitz alongside taking Node.js as the example, because that is something which StackBlitz supports at the moment. It does not support any other backend technology. So let's just go ahead and take a look at how these two two different approaches work, how they are similar in a way, and which one should you use and when. Let's go. If you're new here, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. This is free of cost and helps the channel grow. All right, so I'm going to start with CodeDamp's playground and I'm going to go ahead and create a simple playground. Let's just name it simple express server. And mind you that there are a lot of updates going on with CodeDamp playground interface. So by the time you're watching this, probably this is much faster, much better as a bunch of collaborative features, just a spoiler alert. So anyway, Right now you can see the way this works is that we get a Node.js environment spinned up in CodeDAM within less than five seconds and uh, we have a simple HTTP server running with us. I'm gonna go ahead and close this and I'm gonna first of all initialize the project here and I'm gonna just initialize it properly just like you would do it on your local system. And I'm gonna add express over here as a package, right? That's done. So you can see we have the package.json on yarn.log file, just like basically how you would build something in a local setup. And over here, if I go to package.json, you can see that express is indeed installed. I can finally go ahead and replace our server logic from HTTP to express. I can just start the server with node mod so that we just get logs as well and node mod is by default installed but if it is not installed you can obviously install it and then run yarn node mod index.js and it will just work fine so anyway let's just go ahead and replace this with express it is required express and you can see while i'm doing this this is working just like you would expect it to similarly i'm gonna build an app then i'm gonna say app dot listen port and then it starts at the port and what I want to say over here is something like app.get slash and request response response.send hello world just like that all right so once I refresh this you're gonna see that we just get hello world because of our express server and that's good now in order to port this playground somewhere what i'll do is i'll go to my cdm rc configuration file and i'm going to see that i have a bunch of commands written already over here right so what they mean is that the first thing tabs which is the default tabs which should be opened when this playground loads in this case when i share this url with my friends the second thing is the first command running in the terminal itself and the run button which is what should happen when i click on this so in this case it's node and double dollar file this is a variable which says active file. So if I'm on index.js, if I run this, you're gonna see that we run node index.js again. One final change which you might want to do is instead of running node directly, you might want to install the packages first in case you're booting inside a fresh container. But that's it, once you make this change, you're free to send this URL to any friend of yours. And when they open this in their own tabs, in their own terminals, in their own browsers, they will automatically get a playground setup up and ready, which is running on the cloud. It has all the installed packages. It has the live preview working and it boots within seconds, right? And the moment we integrate collaborative features and online real-time editing with this, it's just gonna be a breeze for you to work together. You literally would have same cursors over here and you would be able to collaborate simultaneously. Now that's about CodeDamps, CodeDamps Playground and how they work. Let's take a look at StatBlitz model now. So the way StatBlitz work at the moment is if I go ahead and create a blank Node.js project, you're gonna see that we have a web container booted up for us. Now what this web container is ideally is that it's a copy of Node.js which is running within my browser itself, right? So it's not really a node.js server but it's an emulated version or kind of i would say a patched version of node because there has been a lot of progress in webassembly and webassembly can pretty much natively run a lot of code from other languages therefore it is possible to run node.js binary directly in the browser itself now this might seem a little bit weird if you're not familiar with webassembly and how the was something is working on but trust me this is now possible so you see that we are running node 14.16 and the difference between node over here 
and the node which you run over here is that we are running obviously a different version but when i write node v inside a code damp playground this is actually executing in a different computer this is a different computer altogether this is a computer which is sitting on cloud this is a computer which is my own computer right so this computer right here is basically my own computer as in when i run something it's actually not transferring over the network it's just staying with me so that's one big benefit of this particular web container which is pretty much like how your local terminal works so if i go ahead and set up the same project what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna yarn in it this project first and uh, let me just go ahead and remove the package.json first and yarn in it this file and of course this has a little bit of different structure than your standard yarn in it files because like i said this is not running a complete node environment it's running more or less a patched version so you can see yarn in it dot does not work here but here obviously this would just work fine because this is the actual yarn which is running and this one is not the yarn which is running so we can just we have to just live with yarn in it like this anyway moving forward okay so not to pinpoint but there's probably a little bit of bugs here as well so i'm just gonna refresh this and forget this never happened on stack blitz it's not a roast video but let's just not <laughs> highlight the bugs in this one at least but moving forward i'm gonna go ahead and add express as the package and the request and the network and everything which is happening over here is happening from my computer now this is a big thing because if i'm on a slow net work then whatever operation which i'm doing it's gonna take more time on this terminal here on the other hand we are actually connected to cloud computers networks and you know those five gigabits and 10 gigabits connections so this network is definitely definitely way more faster than your local system one thing which you can do to test this is uh, for example run something like yarn i think it's called speed test or no it will not run with yarn it will run with npx so the speed test should probably give you an idea on how the speed looks like and similarly you can run npx speed test over here as well it's just gonna download the binary in both the places and it's gonna run that and you can see that we have a pretty decent speed over here on the servers thanks to the cloud network obviously and we have a nice ping time as well over here stack blitz one of one of the things with stack blitz also has unsupported at the moment is that you cannot run native binaries because like I said, this is not a true node environment. It's a simulated one. So there's another difference between Node.js uh, running on CodeDAM versus Node.js running on StackBlitz is you cannot basically use a lot of native binaries like speed test, for example, or bcrypt, for example. Those things would not work at all in a web container based environment. Anyway, moving forward, you're going to see that it's equally equivalent in a way to build an express app in stack blocks also i think their port is 3000 if i'm not wrong and if i go ahead and say app.listen and yep once we write this little program over here you can see that we start getting the output as well but the problem the real problem over here is that this url which you get is your local url in a way so for example if i open this in a new tab you're gonna see that it's working fine and it works in a way like you would expect it to but it's actually a little bit of a lie in a way because this actually loads a lot of stack blitz code for some reason obviously i don't understand a lot of these reasons but this url over here is heavily proxied and it's heavily modified i guess with service workers and all the things like that so if you try to open this url over here maybe in a new tab you're gonna see that this url would probably not work at all because this url is not deployed on internet it's deployed on your computer itself so i do believe that this is a great product in terms of building and trying out experiments locally within the browser without leaving your browser but it does not give you the capabilities at least not yet maybe the people there are working i mean they are they have managed to pull this off so i'm definitely sure this is a relatively easier to pull off but uh, this URL, for example, on CodeDAM, this URL is actually deployed URL. So if I actually go ahead and start this as well, you're going to see that the project which we see over here, this is an actual web URL, which results to an actual server sitting on an actual computer. 
so that you can share this URL pretty much anywhere and everywhere you want. Now, an obvious problem over here, like I mentioned, is that this is not a true URL in a sense, but yep, that's another point how code damn URLs differ and playground differ in general with the stack blitz playground. So yep, these were a couple of major differences between a stack blitz, a web container playground versus a playground which code damps runs on, that is using a cloud compute technology. In your future projects, I would love to see you taking a look at code damps playground, building your projects there. And I'm excited to announce a lot more features which we have in the pipeline for the playground. But stack blitz playground has also done a tremendous job of pulling Node.js into the browser itself, which is definitely exciting but again this is not open source so we cannot discuss on how this works technically so yep that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you like this comparison if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel i have the link for this mini project in the description as well so all you have to do to try this out is open this it'll work on your desktop it'll work on your mobile phone it'll work anywhere you open this that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video really soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section I watched this video till the end. Also, if you're not part of CodeDamp's Discord community, you're missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code. You already know the drill. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and thank you so much for watching.